Masturbation. Welcome yeah. back to Silvernell, the homebrewed <laughs> fantasy world setting for our weekly game of Dungeons and Dragons 5e. <laughs> I'm your game master, Scott Nicholson, uh, and tonight this is episode 16 of Dragon Tooth Academy. Let's say ho, uh, ho. <laughs> ho. Let's say oh, ho <laughs> to our uh, favorite players. Let's go. Let's mix it up. Tanner Messer. Hello. Bendale. I'm just a monster. Michael Jackson. I'm just a hoe. And Erica <laughs> Webb. I am also just a hoe. <laughs> this is an evil villain campaign, and that means it's rated R for cheating, foul language, and manipulation of blood. Welcome back to Dragon That's Tooth Academy. Major. Last episode, episode 15 for our villains. Bognak arranges a date between Professor Inger and Professor Evening Plume. But after only eight minutes, Professor Evening Plume leaves and Professor Inger is left feeling very upset. Bognak breaks ties with Evening Plume in solidarity with Inger, holding inside him ever still the pending death of the revealing truth about Dragontooth. Penny learns Baby Tolvi is overgrowing onto the floor of the hothouse, maybe a skill to be used. She gets a new school game passed with the headmaster, and her relationship with Cleonile and Mortenzal finally solidify into the harmonious thruple she has been working on for the entire school year. Artheon showers Yumi with gifts, and in return, Yumi orchestrates the doorway into Summit he has been yearning for, including... B, ransacking Artheon's dorm and cashing in on a shit ton of loot, to be explained soon. Venom Run semifinals take off, and the winners, going into finals for a chance at 1,000 gold pieces, the Royal Pains versus the Not Bald Guys, Yumi and Darkrunner versus B. But most... <laughs> most Not a bald guy, singular. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, most chaotic from last episode. BR Aggressive faces off against Head of the Bleed, <laughs> Reve. B locates her false story of her and Artheon's love and then spreads it across the school, leaving the bleed, bleed burned to the floorboards, Reve in shambles, and B's reputation soaring to a fearful new height amongst the student body. After Zanzibar Roy joins the confrontation, all three are stopped by Professor Inger, still reeling from the upsetting date, and Reve and B are punished. They will be turned to stone at the end of the school year in two weeks for their failed murder unless they kill Professor Evening Plume. There are two weeks left of freshman year. Graduation is coming for the senior soon. We're going to wake up on Sunday morning after all of this. Welcome back. But before we begin, I just want to detail for everyone the loot that B picked up in <laughs> Artheon's room. <clears throat> A bag of holding. 326 copper pieces. 576 silver pieces. 280 gold pieces. A silk dark red robe with gold embroidery worth 150 gold pieces. A Ooh. opal necklace with a brown stone pendant worth 150 gold pieces. Um, brass mug with a jade inlay worth 150 gold pieces. A gold ring set of four with bloodstones in them worth 100 gold pieces. Two potions of greater healing, 44 plus 4. Um, a potion of 10 minute invisibility. 
and uh, a, a filter of love. So you give someone this potion, and then within 10 minutes after drinking this potion, they become charmed by the first creature they see for one hour. Um, a 50-foot rope of mending. You can cut the rope into pieces, but then they just have to be touched, and they come back together. Um, a bag of 15 beads of refreshment. These are tiny little beads that you can add to any liquid besides, like, acid and... Let me look at my notes. No... No magical liquids or harmful substances such as poison. Anything else, you put the little bead in and it becomes fresh drinking water. Um, a staff mm. of adornment. Reverse Jesus. Uh, which is a staff that basically <laughs> just hovers and levitates something over the staff. Um, a red corundum elemental gem. She smashes the gem and elemental pops out just like you had conjured elementals. And a attuned ah. clockwork amulet. This copper amulet contains tiny interlocking uh, gears. A creature that puts uh, an ear to the amulet can hear faint ticking and wearing noises coming from within. When you make an attack roll while wearing the amulet, you can forgo rolling the d20 to instead just automatically get a 10 on the dice, and you can use it once per long rest, or once until the next dawn. And uh, that is her haul. Welcome back, level four villains. Damn, not bad. Just a, just a thing or two. It's okay. Just a thing or two. Anyway, which which you'll put that at? I got that call. bag of holding to hold all that shit. It, it's true. <laughs> yeah, literally. I I we were talking about this. Like, you can just put the bag of holding in your hair, and then your hair literally yeah. stuffs everything. That is yeah. absolutely what will be happening. I hope you guys know. Just, you're going to have a whole ass wig moment. You know? Right. Wig, actually. <laughs> wig. A wig of holding. <laughs> oh. Snatched. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the floor is yours. It is Sunday morning. Uh, you can all wake up different times, however you want to play it. Welcome back. I will say that Penny has a training session with each Yumi and uh, B pregame, like before the game, at some point okay. on the on the on the schedules. But other than that, the Unholy Trinity is going to Gibbles. Okay. We'll go to the calf first to get the free food, and then we'll go to Gibbles to be social, because we ain't we ain't rich. Uh, no. Calf is relatively <laughs> quiet at the furnace. Um, people are just chilling. The fire is roaring. Um, people are kind of tired, but there are some uh, mutterings of excitement for the Venom Run finals, mainly because they hear that the big bad BR aggressive is going to be in it. She killed Jessamine Tunnelly. That is true. That's what I've heard. Uh, is the is the Vertle posted? Uh, it yeah. is not. It <gasps> is in a note which is attached to the door of Yumi's dorm and attached to the door of B and Bognak's dorm. Okay. Of course I'm going to read that note as soon as I wake up. <laughs> Alright, the note says The death of 166 stopped on a whim. In religion it rose. Decipher these instructions. It's still a short this time. He yeah, just that... like stares at it and is like, God damn, I hate these fucking riddles. <laughs> Let me get that one more time also. Just, <laughs> All right, just one more time. For... Just you know, just... B is a little slower. B needs to read through it a couple <laughs> times to really understand. All right. The death of 166 stopped on a whim. In religion... It rose. Decipher these instructions. Okay. Well, those words are definitely bigger than five <laughs> letters, so B's gonna have to have Bodnak read it to her. <laughs> yeah, at this point, Yumi's just like gonna go to the calf and be like. Who are my smart friends? I'm gonna look for Penny. I'm gonna look for Penny. <laughs> Penny's there. Yeah. I'm just gonna pop into your head and be like, bitch, listen to this note I got and I recite the note. Clearly I didn't write it all down properly or I would recite it right now, but you heard him. <laughs> <laughs> Penny gives you a bitch, what? Yeah, I know, I know. Uh... So, she kind of will look around. She'll mention it to the 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 other two uh, at the thruple and to see if they get it. 
I have no idea. Um, so Penny will ponder that thought for a minute, and she'll be like, what instructions? And she'll just kind of say yeah. it out, and she'll try to, like, try to get the, see if they... Um, Morton's on Cleon Isle. Cleon Isle will be like, instructions are usually written down somewhere. Maybe the instructions are written down. I say that. I soon as I, I, I talk back to uh, Yumi. Uh, it may be something that's written, perhaps a note of some sort. Uh, Maybe like something. Could be objects could be so. I don't know. Yeah, I know. A note written down. Shit written down is like in the library, maybe. A book, religious text, perhaps. I don't speak Jesus. Mm -hmm. Me either. Meanwhile, Bognak's <laughs> reading to be. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I don't. Doesn't make much sense to me either. Uh, I'm guessing somebody died in 166. Ah, uh, that, that, no, I wrote the note down somewhere. No, yeah, somebody maybe somebody died in 166. Stopped on a win though, so. They didn't die. Brought I thought back. it was whim, like W H I M. Yeah, whim, whim. Yeah. No e. I, I'm just bad at pronouncing today. Pronouncing. Today. <laughs> oh, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Irony. <laughs> um, somebody that was supposed to die and instead rose. Uh, you know, I feel like this could this relate to Culverlack somehow? Maybe I don't know what year he died, but that sounds kind of in line. Like, wasn't he killed and came back to life? That's my guess. I have no idea. Um, I can look in the library if you want to get. Oh, by the way, and I hand her the scrolls that I bought in the school store. Um, and yeah, so I hand her two uh, cure wound scrolls and then one lesser restoration scroll. Like this might come in handy tonight when if you need to heal up between rounds or something. Uh, for he you, has bring... like a fucking armory. <laughs> bring it home for Baron. Yeah, um, no problem. I'll head to the library with you too, I guess. I don't know how much help I'll be, but um, I got the five letter words and under, at least under control. <laughs> I'll, I might need you to fill in the gaps for me. Maybe there's like a religious picture book or something we can use. <laughs> oh, <see>. great idea. <laughs> like a pop -up and book. that's Bruntoro. And that's <laughs> yeah. <Sama. laughs> And that's. <laughs> I don't eat books anymore. We've, we've progressed. We've come a long way. Yeah. <laughs> you still use scraps for your nest sometimes, but that's okay. They're <laughs> comforting. They're comforting, okay? <laughs> yeah, so that, I guess we'll also head to the library. Um, can I make a quick pit stop before we do? Sure. Because I wanted to send in my submissions to student council before I forgot about it, so we can vote on it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so I wanted to, one, vote for school nurse re uh, reinstatement. Okay. Uh, another one is school dance at the end of the year. Uh, put in a school dance, like a big celebration send off the night before graduation. All right. And then um, five murders only allowed in dueling class. Like if everybody agrees, it's like a duel to the death kind of, uh, you know, Alexander Hamilton ask. So, so if people agree, like this one will be to the death, they can only say that five times. Five times. Is that what no, you no, like, no. Like, if you want to, if you want to kill somebody, it's like I challenge you to a duel, like dueling class rules, and it's like a fair fight, one v one type of deal. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's but, it's but like you can if you only do it five times. I did I say yeah. five times? I didn't mean to. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, you did say five, so, I, uh, oh. Oh, so again, I, I really think it's just. <laughs> I really think I'm just having trouble talking. No, I might. Unlimited <laughs> kills. You just gotta okay, say you're so, gonna do it first. Yeah, so, uh, I, yeah, but cool. I, think, I think a limit on there. Is I good. think like, I think now you're fully allowed to be like, yo, you want to duel to the death? Yeah, sure. Like I don't think that's against the rules. So, is there like something so with it? Oh no! So I like, mean, if, if you if go in the hall and someone to agrees to it. Oh. Well, I'm just saying. Then that's like the only way you can do a murder and get away with it. Oh, he's trying that, to he's trying to he's trying to banish murder, and then instead you have to do the dueling to the death. So you can't yeah. murder somebody. Get and, noble. Like, challenge them to a fight. No mischief. Kid. Well, you won't get in trouble for murdering somebody. You just get in trouble for not murdering someone. So are you saying you can <laughs> five times? You get or no five? I gotta get that in. Uh, that's 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 what I'm saying. Make murder. It, like if you murder somebody, it has to be done this map. Oh, so all other types yeah. of murder are all banished. All other types of murders are banished. Gotcha. It's only doing murder is allowed. He says, boo. 
<laughs> yeah. B, you've been trying to duel murder everybody. What are you talking about? <laughs> <Duel's out. laughs> Single dueling, gotcha. Yes, yeah. None of them surprise kills. None, none of the surprise kills. Maybe okay. we can open the up a party. Maybe we can open up to a party duel or something. But yeah. <laughs> all right, so we'll say that you ran into uh, possibly the treasurer secretary. We'll say the tre uh, secretary Aknora Femix, who's a third year. Mm -hmm. um, and great, she'll take them and she'll bring them up. Cool. Thank you very much. Yep. And then we'll go on to the library. Uh, you guys are all going to get to the library around the same time. Uh, Russ isn't even there yet. Uh, there's a little plaque on his desk that says, uh, uh, "Be in the li I'll be in the library tomorrow." You could probably assume it's from yesterday. Be so nobody's really in charge of the library right now. It's really, really like, early in the morning. How did they know I was going to be in the library tomorrow? And <laughs> 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 know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, what up, B? What up, Bachnack? Oh, hey, guys. So we're all going to the library together. He yeah. walks up to Yumi and points in their chest and goes, Even though you're really pretty, I'm not going to take it easy on you, okay? You better not be. be I want, like, a, a dirty a fight. Dirty fight between the two of us. I'm really good at dirty. And at fighting, especially. <laughs> <laughs> what brought that to the I take it you got your Venom Run note, right? Yeah. Got it, but yeah. I don't really know what it means. Yeah, neither do I. That's why I'm here. <laughs> a and commotion. Say, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, maybe we should ask some uh, upperclassmen. That's normally what I do when I look at these things. I'm like, hmm, someone else know anything? You know, I don't know. But, you hear uh, a large commotion coming from... Uh, the furnace area uh because the library each side of this place is open that you can see down into the furnace everyone's looking at the fire uh from the fire there's like some you can hear some faint yelling screaming battle cries um and walking out of the fire is this large turtle soldier with blood all over him i mean guy must be 60s 70s big guy and he's dragging with him another dead turtle soldier and just picks up the body and slams it on the ground as he huffs and puffs uh from uh, right behind him from the same fire this like strong female vile half-elf soldier walks out and she's holding the severed head of this like kinku or whatever and just like tosses it at the body as they both look at each other and then turn and look at the fire and bow their heads and from the fire walks out covered in blood a hot mess wanda herself almost uh walks out fatal and she's taking off this glove and just throws it down and then just looks at the two soldiers and does this like motion and they both fall down dead she walks over and steps over their bodies through the middle of the tables everybody's like looking eating their food at her she kind of gets around to the room her hair's in front of her uh it's like her hair's kind of short uh blood's all in her eyes she looks really fucked up and she looks around everybody where's yumi Everyone just kind of <laughs> looks around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and, yeah. and he goes, Where Ooh. is Yumi? Dark Runner stands up in his chair. Ah. I saw them heading up to the library. She puts out her fucking hand and <laughs> he starts rising in the air. You see blood start coming out of his different orifices. Yeah, just kill starts, Dark Runner real starts quick. Starts flowing towards her <sighs> as she's holding it. And the blood gets to her hand into this like ball and starts like drinking it and like pushing it in her mouth. <laughs> just starts screaming and shaking her head as everyone's like, what the fuck? And Dark Runner falls down dead. And she just screams to the top of her lung as it echoes throughout the hall. Yumi! Zen Zarin! Zen Zarin! Zen Zarin! Zen Zarin! Throughout the echoing the halls. About that time, Russ Quinn walks up and he's like. About to like lean over and be like, he's up here! And like goes to the edge 
looks at R- you. Russ, and... Russ, 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 don't say anything. Don't, don't say anything. If she, I, she just like killed Yumi's in trouble. She just, she just killed the last guy that said Yumi's name. Don't say anything. Oh. Yeah, don't say anything, Russ. Um, um, I, yeah. Bog, Bognak runs for the advanced student dorms. Has he been cleared to go in yet? <laughs> <Is> uh, <laughs> you get to the portal of the advanced student chambers, this big whirling uh, purple uh, a portal that you go to stick your hand in, zoop, goes right through. <laughs> I'm, uh, still with, I'm still with Yumi, right? Yeah. Bognak just took off. I know the shitting goal. Yeah, Bognak was like, bye. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna look over at Yumi. Um, I'm assuming Fatal isn't in there, but we heard her scream. Right? Yeah, she can't yeah, see you guys probably. from where you are uh, unless you're looking over the railing. So I imagine. Oh, yeah, you, I was whoop. looking over. I was like, oh, and then you start. Like, okay, yeah, I'll back up after that. I'm gonna look over at Yumi and I'm gonna take out the potion of invisibility that I stole from Artheon and I'm gonna shake it a little bit and say, let me get a head start. The game. You, what do you mean that you get a head start in the game? <laughs> you <Black> want this? <laughs> trying to keep you I alive mean, to participate in the game because whatever is. I'll going give on you there, a head start in the first round, okay? Kaboom! You hear a table oh, overflip. You know. It and seems Laundry is really wanting me. I'm gonna toss the potion of invisibility to Yumi. Your steps, you see, girl, coming up the steps. I look at I look at Yumi and I say, "Girl, don't die." And Penny steps to the wall and she uses a new ability <laughs> and she, and she uh, tur- uses camouflage and she just turns invisible. She, and she blends in with I'm the wall. I'm just gonna like be there. Like, <laughs> girl, She's gonna go yeah. away from your head. from them uh, and go towards uh, I guess one of the shelves in the library and open up a book and start ripping <laughs> out the pages and start eating it. <laughs> She's stress eating. Oh <laughs> She's stress eating. <laughs> Yumi stands in the hallway alone. Yeah, uh, I'm just waiting for her to turn uh, that corner. The book, the book you grab is uh, Different Ways to Cook a Bugbear. <laughs> um, as goes invisible, B blends in with eating books. Bognak ran into the advanced suit chambers. <laughs> Yumi just stands there with Russ. Is like, what the fuck? And you turn and look, both of you see rising up the steps, coming up. Stands Fatal. Fucked up. Limping a little bit, blood everywhere, possibly not even her blood. She just stares at you. Hi, Andrea. I heard you wanted to see me. Meet me upstairs. Now? Turns. Now. Now. And okay. leaves. Russ is like, everything okay? Russ, I would <laughs> fuck off, okay? Fuck off. Clearly I'm just trying to help you, gosh! So fucking helpful. You weren't even here when I first arrived to give me what I fucking needed. Me and you librarian here. Storms off. You know, I'm pretty good with Fatal, and like, we have a good relationship, but fuck you, man! <laughs> Shut up, Russ. Shut the up. Irony. <laughs> One negative relationship point with Russ Quinn as he scoffs and takes off the plaque from his desk. Fuck you! <laughs> fuck that little weasel. After they all leave, B's gonna go up to Russ and say, Hey, Russ, so about that, uh, Venom Run clue, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fatal's gonna start walking up the stairs up to Death's door. I follow behind Fatal, I guess. Alright, uh, Russ is like, oh, yeah, what is the clue? Um, I wrote it down. Read it to me. <laughs> <laughs> B is like, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> so did you just draw pictures? <laughs> um, death of 166 blank on whim and blank it rose blank blank I can't read six letter words. Blank, blank. <laughs> uh, and then I was like, I was like, Bognak wrote it down for me here. And then I should give Russ Quinn the piece of paper. <laughs> Interesting. I don't really know what all of that means, but the death of one six six that could be referring to uh, a massacre that happened at the school. Hold on one second. Mm, let's see. Where'd my bugbear book go? Never mind. He's gonna pull out this book and hand it to you, and it's uh, it's a memoir of the year one six six. He's like, ah, there you go. Uh, there's more than four letter words in there, though. 
He's gonna say, well, you know, you seem really good at reading. Do you think you might sit here with me for a while and help me read this? Let me see. Your oh, she is not. Uh, she is turning that on right now. Um, I, sh I ship it. I ship it. Roll, uh, roll a persuasion check. Oh God. That was a fourteen. Not bad. All right, I'll make you a deal. I'll read you some of this. If later on, you know, you have dinner with me, just so I can maybe read you a chapter of my new book. Um. Well, what's what's on the menu? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> what is this? How do you feel about uh rat kebabs? <laughs> oh my god. Roll. <laughs> Sounds tasty. No, my God. You have a deal. He's going to read you a chapter of this book. It's going to talk about this student named Christopher Few. Christopher Few was a half elf cleric warlock sworn to the demon king Salen. Salen gifted him the power to absorb pure energy. From his enemies, exhausting them to death. And in return, Christopher Few would one day have to give up all of that energy he took and give it to Salen, including his own energy, thus killing him too. He was what people called around here, Salen's Collector, signed with a death note. Christopher defied Salen at graduation and performed a ritual, breaking all spiritual ties with Salen forever. He was aided by his clerical followers called Light Enders. This was the year of 166 AGW. Yeah, build a cult. Did the like chapters that. ever be as like, that's pretty cool. That Salen <clears throat> guy sounds pretty badass. I, I kind of want to be like him. Oh yeah, it sounds like totally cool. Except for the whole part where you eventually have to like give yourself over. I mean, I don't want to give myself over, but if people gave themselves to me, that would be pretty badass. I mean, I kind of take their lives anyways, depending on if they want to give it over or not. But um, it'd be cool if somebody willingly wanted to do that. He starts to blush. So, like, um, uh, is it true, the rumors? Did you actually kill Jessamine? Um, I, I assume I still have her rotting uh, her skull. teeth you yeah, can, like her, yeah. her skull i feel like it's a skull at this point it like, definitely is really the flesh has fallen else. off yeah it's been um and weeks. i just i just kind of motioned to my belt and i'm like this is her skull after all do you think just anyone could have gotten their hands on her skull uh roll yeah. a deception check with advantage because everyone at the school is kind of already spreading this rumor with you i said another 14. Wow. That's amazing. Okay. This is this is great. Well, I guess I'll meet you after Venom Run tonight and we can, you know, read some of my book together. Sounds good. I can't wait for the rack of bobs. And he puts out a high five. <laughs> oh gosh, he'll return the high five. Cool. Alright, well I gotta get back to work. <laughs> Gain one positive relationship point with Russ Quinn. Wow. The rarity of that. Oh no, we got the nickname. B and I literally just like switched places yeah. in relationship points. <laughs> you follow as she walks up the stairs on the inside of Death's door in that big middle area. Just upstairs, up the ladders, up the ladders, as you just watch following like 20, 25 feet behind her. She goes over to her door. The doorknob gets out of the way. The door is open. She walks in. The doors slam as you stand about 25 feet away from the door. You hear loud crashing, breaking, shattering, thuds. What do you do? I put my head in. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> as you stick your head in, you see the room is ransacked. Uh, there, there is that table is the only, like, w one of two light sources. Uh, the table has chains on them. There's candles floating in the air above it. 
And then to your left is a large furnace with, like, chains wrapped in it. And Fatal is, like, in the corner of the room. Looks like she leaned against the wall and slid down to where she's sitting. And she's just looking at you under her eyes. And she just points at the table. I'm gonna go take a seat. (laughs) She just kind of puts her head down. Why did you do it? Um. What? Well, (laughs) I did it for me. It was selfish. I've kept this school secret for a very long time. I never expected someone like you to undo it. They know. They know everything. And Artheon? What happened to him? Captured after he blabbed to his father. Revealing his disguise, you told him intimate things about us. Laundry, I did what I did because I'm applying what I learned here at this school. One to negative my life. point with Headmaster. She kind of stands up, prestigitizes herself, <laughs> goes back to her normal garb. She's cleaned. She puts her head up and just kind of leans against the wall. They'll send heroes from every kingdom looking for this place. They'll send everybody. Are you prepared to fight against heroes that are much stronger than you and your friends? Is that what you wanted? Not particularly what I was hoping to get out of my charade. She starts circling the table that you're sitting on. I thought we had something. Andrea, we do have something. We do. Not anymore. A negative point with Headmaster Fatal. <laughs> I've had sex with many students here. It bores me. Then it excites me. Then it bores me again. You were different. Your body felt different. Such, so naive yet powerful. When I first saw you when you came into the freshman class, I thought that is the most beautiful individual I have ever seen in my entire life. But I did not believe you could be evil. You had no drive. You were boring. You were not a threat. You were pathetic. But I see now, you are the most evil student I have ever had. Put those chains on your wrist and hands. Why? No more time for questions. Do it. So be it. I put the chains on my wrist. So with the chains on your wrist, um, kind of back against the table, you get like six inches above the table if you want. She walks over, takes the chains, puts it on your feet. Your outside does not represent your inside, Yumi Zinzarin. She's going to cast... Draining to annihilate on you. Oop, not Humbridge, though. That sounds painful. No, 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 not that one. She's going to do nerve dance. Uh, wisdom saving throw. 
feel a Title IX lawsuit coming on. I'd just like to say that. Listen, <laughs> Yumi consented laying on that table and chaining themselves up, so I mean, I'm confused here. Done with <laughs> no, it was Fatal yeah. being like, oh, I fucked so many Oh, students. yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a thing she said out loud. I was like, okay. An 18. Weird flex. Fail. Uh, yeah, she be casting shit. What does this nerve shit do to me? I'm make you twerk, nerve dance. Eh, 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 eh. I thought she was about to make you ugly. You're gonna like, take really 27 ugly. points of psychic damage. You're incapacitated due to incredible pain for one minute. As the pain, you feel it in your blood vessels just oh, takes your body over and you can't move as it feels like thousands of uh, like bed bugs are in your blood vessels. Just like crawling around, biting the inside of all your veins. She just leans against the table and holds onto your leg as it's like shaking and capacitated. Oh, Yumi, Yumi, Yumi. I don't want to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. I might kill you. Oh. Wisdom saving throw again. That's a nat 20. You screaming in my head. Fail. Like, Shut up. <laughs> a nat 20 fail? That would make it a 22 at least. Is that still a fail? Oh, it's a. You have a 22? Oh, that's yeah, the same. Twenty two is the same. Yeah, twenty two is the same. Oh, okay. But he wants okay. to know. The, no, he wants to know the number here in silver now. Nat twenty is. I mean, a damn thing. We get high level. He wants to know the number. Um, <laughs> more. Say no more. Um, uh, you'll take eleven points of. I'm done. Of. Are you done? Yeah. As she watches the life drip out of you, she's gonna cast spare the dying on you. She's gonna walk around to your face. It's like. Uh, but you are Mafia. incapacitated, passed out, stable at zero health. Oh, God. I hate that I love you, and I love that I hate you. Oh, word. She's going to take a potion from her bottle. She's going to slap your face a little bit. Kind of just like, ugh, wake you up in your stupor. She's going to put it up to your mouth. You're gonna take. You you're gonna gain go. 14 points of health. 14 um, health. The incapacitation is over because you died technically, or you were rolling <laughs> saving throws. So you are now just chained with 14 health um, as the pain is starting to go out of your veins, and you see she turns and walks over to that fireplace with a chain on it, and puts this big brown glove on, big matted glove, and grabs the chain out of the fire and drags it across the floor, catching the carpet on fire. She stands up on the table with this glowing red hot chain and she says, I'm going to make Tom. you so fucking ugly on the outside as you are on the inside. And she's going to no. slowly put it on your b whole body, making sure it covers your legs, your, your shirt, your arms, and your face immense heat on your body as it's burnt your clothes catch fire the pain it slowly starts to eat at you you're gonna take uh four points of fire damage she's gonna walk over your body to right above your head and rip off all her clothes and look down at your face and just scream to the top of her lungs like three inches away from your face as your eyes are open and her eyes are bulging glowing red and just screaming and she's going to smack you across the face and smack you across the other side and then grab that chain and whip it off and it hits the wall. You're going to have these grotesque scars across your face and your arm and your body. And she's going to go over this key and unlock all those uh, bracelets, those chains. And she's just going to grab you by your shirt that's on fire. Doesn't even care that it's burning her fingers. And pull you off the, the table. Your body hits the ground. And she stands over you. Do you want to do anything with your 10 HP? I'm taking this beating. She's dragging you to the door outside. I feel at this point, Yumi is just, like, defeated. Like, that type of pain I've never experienced before. I literally died and came back. 
She's going to give you <laughs> another health potion. I think I made ugly. Yeah. Uh, Which I'm worse. speechless. <laughs> You're going to gain 11 HP. And then she's going to... Uh, let me see if she can even do this. Uh. And she's a All right, so she's going to try to pick up your body. Uh, but she's only going to be able to get that top half and just kind of like prop you against the railing and then grab your legs and throw you over the railing. You're going to fall four stories down to death's door. Is that past the library? <laughs> no. And you're going to take oh. 12 p points of bludgeoning damage as your body hits the ground. Uh, like a few people are standing there. And she just looks over, walks inside, <laughs> shuts her door. You lay there in immense pain. These circular chain scars across your face, down your cheek, across your neck, all over your body. Your shirt falls off because it burned the complete front of it and fa falls off. What do you want to do? I'm gonna lay there and wallow for a good minute. Just in agony. I think just like stare up at the red sky and like silently, not even like pause, just like cry. Yumi's just gonna lay there and fucking cry. <laughs> it's been how long since I've been here? Since I like have express those type of emotions i've been bottling all this up i was like i'm hideous now i'm hideous ah. the students scatter away from you you're left alone all you can see laying on your back looking up is the red anti-magic field at the very top of death's door maybe faintly seeing a couple stars in the night sky Kind of romantic. Might as well this thing. Just gonna roll over and drag my ass to my room and clean myself up a little bit before this has been a rum game, I guess. You pass students. Russ is out there. I guess B is still there? Yeah. B, you see a monster stand in front of you walking clothes ripped and burned almost unrecognizable a bee definitely wouldn't recognize yumi i feel like because <laughs> bee is so stupid already um <laughs> yeah you said you saw just kind of b just kind of looks up and b isn't grossed out or anything she's just like oh i haven't seen them before and then like goes back to what b is doing but then like he kind of looks up for a second takes like a big like whiff out of the air um and kind of smells me with her like animalistic instincts roll a perception check is that perception mm -hmm. it's at 11. good enough enough Get the can tell it's okay so i can tell it's yumi um i'm b's gonna get up and kind of walk over and like sniff again and look up and go it it really is you what the hell happened that fucking cunt Londria happened <laughs> you, didn't, fucking... you didn't use the invis invisibility potion I, th I thought for sure you would get away from her I would have ran if I was you I mean I'm not, I'm not the type to run but that girl is scary yeah this is what she'll do to you She'll make you live through it. She'll kill you. She'll bring you back. And she'll torture you a little more. Make you look like B. One day, we're gonna kill that bitch. And this will be the last fucking face she sees. You guys and notice, I'll wear it like yeah, armor. You notice the teachers are passing you guys. They're all rushing up to Death's Door. Okay, I have, Scott, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, the scroll of lesser restoration, 
uh, Ben gave me, would that be able to heal Yumi's wounds at all? I think you need... Like, restore greater, their beauty at all? I think you need greater restoration. Let me look it up. For skin. Let's just skin damage. <laughs> Plus sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's something that wouldn't heal over time. Um, I, 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 greater restoration will work, but not lesser okay. restoration. Okay. Um, I buy lesser or a greater restoration scroll. It the talk thing. to the shopkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Um... How much does it cost, Broski? <laughs> Bob, Bob oh. Max hide, hiding underneath like a lawn chair by the pool. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> um, oh, yeah, in the advanced <laughs> chambers. Yeah, yeah. Um, greater restoration. So there is a specific uh, one for lesser restoration. I don't know if there's a specific one for a greater restoration skull. So, so that's probably a. Let's move look under potions. I was going to say it would probably be double or triple. Lesser. Um, where do you see it? What page is it on? Under services, spellcasting, temple fate supplies, uh, that's the second page. Potion shop. Um, let's see. Restoration potion. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We it is a level five. Do. So that would be potions. I'll say it's a rare potion, so... He can get it cheap for one seven fifty, and he gets half off. So, it's a three seventy five total gold. No, one thousand seven hundred and fifty. Oh, so half of that. So five eight. I'll I'll say a clean eight hundred and seventy five. That's a round half, kind of. Yeah. Gonna go win, gonna run. We gonna be pretty again. No, not even passion to win. Woo. 875. B, you got the okay, gold? Okay, you have, you have 500 gold. You're already, you're almost there. Probably crowdsource. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have 326 copper, 660 silver, and 327 gold. Yeah. You, you probably do have enough. Between you and you me. Between the both of us, we have the gold to get it. Gold. All right, how much gold you got, Yumi? Uh, well, since Artheon just gave me 500, I have 545. 545. What do you have, B? In gold. For gold, I have 327. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, yeah, they, they are like aggressively there. <laughs> it was like, they're kind of like right Five, at it. Five, but, six, seven. But also, if one of you, one of you are going to, are going to win this money. So eight. then like, you will yeah. definitely have it again. So. You have 872 between you without your silver or, or copper in it. So I'm gonna B's gonna turn to Yumi and Yumi's gonna say I'll go in. Yeah, B's gonna turn to Yumi and say, I'll go in <laughs> on this greater restoration po or potion so you can become beautiful again. There's gonna be a catch. It's a lot of gold for me to give up. What's the catch, little one? <laughs> you got one favorite. <laughs> I need you. Hey, I I tossed the, I tossed them that potion of invisibility earlier. So I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna need you, your teammates, to not show up to Venom Run. I if you don't show up, I'll give you twenty percent the earnings. The who are we to let everyone down, giving them the show of a lifetime and showing how powerful we both are? I mean. We don't want to disappoint on that aspect. And if I were to show up looking like this again, or like my former self, that would probably send Laundria a little bit shaking, wondering how the fuck I managed that one. So that would be nice. So why don't we each make a debut, and if I win 50-50 on the gold? Deal. You Deal. still have to get your teammates to not show up somehow. He doesn't have yeah, them. Dark Runner just died. Dark Runner got exploded. Oh, there's I there's still another teammate. No, the freak died a long time ago. The freak oh, the freak. Yeah. Oh, it's just us. It's, it's, one, it's one, one just one v one girl. Yeah, okay. it's just one v one. 
<laughs> the freak died when you video. released all those fake creatures. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. really, you already killed the freak. She ain't slick. She said, "Ha!" <laughs> 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 He's like, "I'm gonna win this Venom Run game." <laughs> Got a deal. Got it. All deal. right. We put on a show, 50-50 split if I win. I don't require anything if you win. Let's do this shit. Let's make me look beautiful again. Yeah, yeah so B and I will skip along down to see Bognak, I guess. <laughs> Bognak's not the school store. Bognak's still the advanced student dorms. Yeah, the store's locked. He has access to the advanced student dorm, so B's gonna walk her happy yeah. ass in there, grab Bognak by the collar, and says, I need you. And she doesn't even say anything else, just says, I need you. And just starts dragging Bognak. She's gonna drain my, she's gonna drain my blood! No! <laughs> oh, wait a second. Bognak's margarita falls out of his hand <laughs> and through the sand. This is everything I'm going for! Uh, so, Bognak. Uh, yeah, I'll go, I'll go begrudgingly open the store. Um, and I think too, and I walk out. Bognak looks at Yumi, and uh, you kind of looks at him, just he's gonna give Yumi a hug. <laughs> he's like, I've been there, I've been there, or, very gently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 still burned. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Burns. I'm still crispy. Yeah, <laughs> there's little, I still have little embers on me <laughs> from Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Armin. Thank you, Bognak. I think I will. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. No. Yeah, I needed that. Yeah, let's right. uh, let's um, get the store. You guys need something? And then... Yeah, <laughs> greater restoration potion, please. So I will not look like this any longer. All right, Yumi, uh, take away your five hundred gold. Uh, B, take away your gold. You're still three gold short because you had eight seventy two. So. Someone wanna Can we do a silver conversion? Yeah, ten silvers makes a gold. So if you've got thirty silver, you want to give. I got five. B, you want to throw in twenty-five silver? Got you. All right, <laughs> twenty-five <love> silver. <laughs> Make sure you're taking all this money out of your inventory. I'm still. I, I'm losing twenty-five. Is that what you said? Yeah. Twenty-five silver, and you're losing all that gold you had. Yeah, I'm about to have more gold though than I had currently. So who cares? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Donks. Upward investment. All right, you've got the potion. He's not good at math, but the math is mathing right now. <laughs> Bonnack reads the instruction manual on, and from the bleed about how to mix the potions together because he's not magical. He's got well, he's got magical like punches now, but like understanding magic, he's got to follow the instructions. He's able to blend. You mean he's like looking over, like, do you need help with telling what to do with this? I kind of do magic. Yeah, it might it might help if you can like interpret some of the instructions. Uh, you know, For so, sure. Yeah, maybe don't come behind the desk. And get in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Okay, Third montage. Put it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have your potion. I'm immediately going to drink that shit. All the scars disappear from your body. You're back uh. to your beautiful self, minus your burnt clothes. Oh yeah, clothes. Fuck. Hmm. We also, also offer a wide variety of clothes in the school store. If you I was about to say, I also <laughs> stole um, five shirts and five pairs of pants from Artheon. Yeah, so, I forgot um, to say that. Yep. Artheon isn't nearly as fashionable as you, Yumi, but you can use. Them I know. And I toss Yumi a shirt and a pair of pants from Artheon's. Uh, uh, Yumi, roll a uh, d6 for me. Let's see which outfit you're getting. Um, if you get a six, oh, you get to tell me what the outfit is. It's a three. All right. List. <laughs> you got uh, sequence gold speckled pants. Actually, let's mix it up. Roll a d6 for the shirt. <laughs> yeah, because B doesn't know styling, yeah. I'm assuming. Right. <laughs> You've seen what I wear. That's a five. <laughs> All right, you have a uh, white long sleeve dress shirt that has a built in ascot on it. Oh, so that's actually, actually right wear. up my style of shit. <laughs> Something you really wear. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if you just take the sequins off, maybe it's just a nice yellow pant underneath. I don't you know. Never take the sequins off. Nah, we will leave the sequins, Bognag. Right. It's a statement piece. 
Oh, okay. I'm not very. At least that's how I'm going to be wearing it if it's on my body. He just looks up and goes, "Be at the game," and then walks out. Because <laughs> B has B has used up all that she can achieve from this interaction, so she's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you, B. God, I love good sportsmanship. Yeah, wait for tonight. Um, but then again. Yeah. Oh. You mean you, mean, you stop to think? Like, is there even going to be a Venom Run game tonight? Why wouldn't there be? Oh, Headmaster's in a pretty bad mood. What if she just cancels the game? Huh. Yumi walks off. <laughs> Pognac has a thousand yards I gotta tailor these fucking pants. <laughs> you will kill literally everyone in the school if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> if, a, if a thousand gold is on the line, no, no, no. <laughs> Cancel. Uh, he wants that money. Yeah, at this point, Yumi's just glad that I don't look like that anymore. So, my day is yeah. 100% better. I could give a shit if it run, don't run. <laughs> so what do we do now? Uh, Penny's in a hot house. She was kind of getting rundowns from the things that have been happening from Viney, since she can see all. Uh, she heard about the, the plummet, the ugliness, the recap. She's like, oh, uh, she's been watching it like I had. She's like, oh, oh, ooh, uh, oh, oh, okay, well, that worked out, I guess. Uh, uh, <laughs> Viney is going to tell you, like, oh, darling, I, hold on, I can't talk for a minute. I'm watching something extraordinary right now. Where? When we in the corridors of remembrance, you will never believe this. It is a large room with many people sitting around tables. It seems Landria and the other professors are watching. So it looks like Landria is watching Landria. Uh, can you can you see any more? Can can Viney see? I'm curious about this. Can Viney see the the panel that has the thing that people have to plug in to go into the thing? Is it like a physical like thing when they're like when they put in the year, the whatever, whatever? Is that something like they have to like manually enter? Are they saying it? Is it something that can be? Like, uh, it is. Uh, she will tell you she saw because there is a, a pool, like a liquid pool, mm -hmm. um, that Fatal took from her coat, um, a glowing, slivering memory, and dropped mm -hmm. it in the pool, and mm -hmm. then uh, called out that it was uh, uh, one thirty one AGW. Laundria Fatale Summit. And then the room changed. So she put the memory in to get it acclimated and then used it and turned the room. Gotcha. She she sees the most bizarre thing. That that head jock boy with the horns. Oh, he's just mm -hmm. rambling and rambling and they're, they're carrying him away. Looks like they're sending him to some sort of prison cell. Oh my. Oh, this is a... Wait, one thirty-one. Is that what, that this year? That's this year, right? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, okay. So uh, they're watching. Uh, okay, so Viney, Penny knows more. So Viney, uh, she's like, oh, okay. She's kind of processing that they're watching. What she does, she 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 understands what they're watching because she and Yumi talk. Um, so she's like, yes. oh, mm, all right, in interesting, interesting. Oh my Captain gosh, they're all attacking oh. the headmaster. Oh, they sent a soldier after soldier. <gasps> oh my How gosh, so much blood. Stuff? How's she doing? Any weaknesses you know? Oh, she's doing great. She seems Ooh. to be pulling the blood right from their bodies. Oh, the the teachers are all laughing and, and patting Fatale on the back. Oh, but the other Fatale, she is just going absolute. Wait, wait a minute. What's that? The, the horn boy, he's running off. <gasps> Where's he going? Oh, he's going through a door. The door's open. <gasps> oh, my God, there's a dragon on the other side. Oh, he doesn't close the door. <laughs> Can you like close the door? Do any of the teachers seem not interested in 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 Fatal's retelling of the story? Or are they all like, yeah? Oh like, no, it it definitely looks like they're all watching. It seems they're all Oh well, the the blue one, the icy icy lizard man teacher, he oh he looks quite upset. Oh, they've got questions for her. Oh, they're surrounding her. Oh, she's trying to get him quiet. Oh, they're hiding, they're trying not to get seen for sure. Oh, the memory's gone. Damn tootin'. <laughs> well, I, 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 I absolutely appreciate all your information, Bonnie. That is a, a splendid job you're doing, and I just can't tell you enough how proud I am and excited to keep working with you. It's been a good year. Oh, so I'm taking I, my me too, Penny. I absolutely adore you, but let me tell you something right now. Just between us two plants, I am starving. 
starving. Yeah, we're gonna figure out how to get you some more food. I'm back in good talks with Maya, uh, doing a little research project here. Maybe more, maybe Toby's, but not from you, so don't worry about me using you for none of that. Um, but, uh, gotta get some more projects out, and so we'll be getting back. She had this whole kerfuffle about me being in a secret room. It was the drama. I'm sure you've heard. You've seen. Secret room? Uh, yeah, some portal her and the teachers be going to, and she don't want nobody to know about it, but I don't know anything about it. But she was like, you definitely know something about it. I'm like, mm. no, I don't. She was like, you're in trouble. And I was like, what? okay, whatever. It was mm. a lot. No, she didn't. Girl, that's crazy. She did. I was hated. Mm. But well, they obviously have something if they don't want you to see it, girl. Exactly, which means I have to know. Girl, you better mm. get your ass in there and figure it out. I will. Thank you. <gasps> okay, <laughs> I'm going to go. Bye. <laughs> Time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. And I'll leave. <laughs> cool. All right. So uh, look, he is sick, right? He was like running out of there, like away from them. He ran through a door where there was a dragon on the other side, then closed the door. But it, but did he look like? Because like she was fighting these people. Did they? The the guard didn't seem like they were like interacting with him. Like uh, it she seems just like got there were away. some guards holding him, but then they went to fight. Fatal and okay. Fatal was kicking everyone's ass. He did a little soup swap. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Perfect. Understood. Understood. Okay. I'm going to write down notes, so I'm not talking. All right. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, that did, did, I think I'll go find is there anybody else that helps me run the store is there anybody else i can trust is it just me now <laughs> is there anybody else i can leave in charge or um yeah there's there's a couple shelvers and someone who cleans mm. you have for your shelvers one second you have uh marcus biofrost a second year biofrost is cool name um and that another second that. year uh He's dead. Uh, Yorikawa Juni of Furbolg. Okay, so I got a, I got Yorikawa Juni. Yep. And Mar. Okay. Which is the second year, and uh, Yorikawa is a Furbolg, and Marcus Biofrost Frost is a halfling. Okay. Uh, and have I noticed anything about these guys while they've been working here? Um, roll a perception check. Do back to Bognac. <laughs> Seventeen. Um, Yurikawa Juni. Uh, she's a female. Um, she is really obsessed with shrinking things and making miniatures. She makes dioramas and little things. Um, she had an enemy one time. Uh. A first year, you don't know who the first year she never told you. You actually never even saw this, just what she told you. That she shrunk them and put them in her miniature room of pain. And she was very proud of it. Mm, terrifying. <laughs> and uh, nothing about Marcus. And uh, Marcus, Biofrost, is, uh, is a, a cleric who uh, people call on in their moments of pain, and he heals you for a great price. And you've heard a couple of rumors about him, or maybe things he's even said, where he's convinced people to give them things. Got an eyeball from someone to heal them, but they lost their eye. Um, healed someone one time and um, made a deal with them. They, they forgot their own name, and he owns their name. Very awful still skin. That's kind of, that's pretty cool. I, I like these guys. Um, yeah, if they're around, I'll just let them kind of run the, the shop if need be. If okay. That's, um, and then um, I'm going to go find B and just make sure. I was like, hey, so did you figure out the riddle for the night? Do you need any more help? I'm, I'm here to help if, you know, I've, I've got a day free. So. Um, Russ gave me some help. And Russ, or I'm going to tell Bognak everything that Russ told me about. Um, hold on, I wrote it down. About um, Christopher Pugh and uh, Selin, or Sullen, was it? No, that's Salen. Salen. Like I'm Salen on read. the ocean. I can't even read my own handwriting. That's crazy. Um, Christopher Few. Like only a few good Christopher men. Few, okay. Um, and the power to absorb energy and all of that. I tell Bogneck everything that Russ told me and say, does that make any sense to you? Oh. 
not not really i mean like what <laughs> instructions like what instructions are in there right like i i just wanted to i just wanted to make myself available if you need any help like uh, getting somewhere or reading anything um so because i really hope the game still happens tonight well if you're yeah. gonna be at the game and i just told Obviously, I'm stupid, but be yeah. be retained enough to be able to tell Bognak everything that Russ Quinn yeah. told her. And B says, well, if you're at the game and you see something that kind of makes sense, uh, like whistle, and I'll look over at you and maybe tell me if you see anything that... You won't be able to hear him. ...lines up with that. In the, oh, shit. On the course. Goes down. You won't be able to hear, but may, like if you look up at the crowd, I'll be sitting next to... Uh, I'll sit next to Inger. That's, that's my plan. I want to... This is an extra kind of close up front, and so then uh, I'll fl I'll try and flash uh, my earring at you so you see me in the crowd and point at anything if I can help you there. So I bet. That, that's the only way I know how to help. I'm sorry, but you know it it, it it seems to make sense. I'll I'll go and see if I can research anything about. And 166 isn't the year 131 or no? Am I crazy? No, the year's 231. 166. 231. Okay, I misheard earlier because I was like, wait, what? Did I did <laughs> yeah, I screw up? I was like, when did Will die? <laughs> and every school year is two years, so you started at 2.30, now you're in 2.31, you're two weeks away from 2.32. Gotcha, so we do it, like, at the end of the year. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, I will... I'll go to the library and keep looking stuff up for you, you do whatever you want to do. I just, you know, wanted to, to be of help to you during this time. So. That's good, thank you, Bognak. No problem, B. I'm always here to, you know, if, if Barrelhorn wins, it makes us look good. And as House Advocate of Barrelhorn, which I've not really been doing a lot of lately. But, uh, you know, I should step up and help my house. So. B flexes and she's like, don't <laughs> worry, I'm going to make all of Barrelhorn look great tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Well, while he does research and while you guys all do your thing, let's take a quick 10 minute bathroom break. And uh, okay. let Yumi recover. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, Rookie, we'll, we'll see you in we'll just a second. You. I'm done. <laughs> Welcome we back, everybody. <laughs> Hope you uh, relieved yourself in the bathroom, uh, healed all your scars. We are now coming back. Uh, oh. Bognak has been in the library for about an hour. Uh, Russ is trying to help him, but, I mean, I'm sorry. That's, that's all I got on that. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's nothing else. What instructions? Is there anything about, like... Is there a book about these, uh, what, the the light enders? The, the, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, yeah, these light enders? Like, did he give them instructions? So he's looked up light enders. He's looked up Christopher Few. He's looked up Salen. He looked up 166. He's got nothing. That's all he has is that book. And where did he die? Or, like, where, where did this all go down? Like, does it say in the book or no? Just in the school hall? Or is there a specific no. location? You know, this is a pretty new book. Um, it's not much. You know, it's pretty. This is not a first-hand account. Uh, the author is Vigar Burndwell. Seems to be a third year this year. All right. I was literally about to ask who wrote it because I thought it might be one of the professors. I will go find Vigar. Sorry, right. dude. All right. By the way. Uh, yeah, if, if I, I really want to hear that uh, that new chapter, but and I have something oh. for you. I don't. Oh. No. Yeah, yeah. I I I I just happen to have it with me. All right, so I'm yeah. writing this whole chapter about uh, the intelligence of Velociraptors, and if one person owns it and the other person claims the owner, you put the Velociraptor in the middle, and it will gravitate whoever it is. Not your dinosaur, my dinosaur. You see, it's a running thing. I love it. <laughs> I do. So, you, do you have a dinosaur? Just out of curiosity, do you? He looks off towards the camera. No. Never have. Always dreamed. But oh, when I, get oh, I, was... I will control <laughs> all the dinosaurs. And then whenever somebody says, that's not your dinosaur, that's my dinosaur, I'll say, bitch, I wrote the book on that. And then are you going to hit him with the book? No, God, why, why would I do that? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't accomplish uh, anything. I'm <laughs> I've been working on something, too. I want to write it by you later. Uh, I show him. Uh, it's like I show him the tale of uh, the tale of Kamapa. Uh, I was like, Ooh. yeah. 
yeah, it's a, it's a it's like a pirate story and like a fallen hero and like they're brought back to life by a shark or yeah, it's 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 you know I'm just working on it now. Thought you might want to check it out. Cool. You know, <laughs> next year I'm hoping to run an extracurricular book club. <laughs> oh, I've, I'm really busy with all the jobs, but uh, you know what? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I, if, if 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 you get enough support for, it, I mean, I'm down. I'm down for that. Like that sounds like a good time. Like, is it like a, we all write our own books or we like bring Yeah, I'm working with Wokes and we can sell our books, do a big book signing. That makes sense. Wokes is a business guy. Yeah, well, uh, Mark Me Down is interested and I'll at least be buying a copy of your book. That's for sure. I support both of you guys. So, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, man, of course. Fuck who doesn't yeah, want to sign copy? Then when people say, then when I see a dinosaur, I like, I know who owns that dinosaur. And I'll be like, he wrote the book, and I show him your book, and you sign it. Yeah, one great. positive relationship point with Russ Quinn. <laughs> Thanks, Russ. Uh, I'm gonna go. You got it, uh, Monster Blog Neck. <laughs> it's just whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna go <laughs> find uh, this third year that wrote the book on the thing that this is all about. All right, roll. Uh, how do you want to do it? How do you want to find him? He's a he's another dwarf, right? Uh, right. Vigar Burndwell? No, he is a human. Oh, that just sounds like such a dwarf name. I don't just Vigar <laughs> Burndwell. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go looking around. Like, uh, d- does he have like an about the author in his book, so I can see like what house he's in? Uh, Vigar Burndwell. He was a first year when he wrote it. He's a human. Um, yeah, that's all he has now. That's all in it. He's a third year now. Uh, he's a cleric. Vigar. Um, I guess my approach is I'm just going to walk around yelling, Vigar! Vigar! I go to the cafeteria, go to the temple, any place I think he could be. Um, um, as you get to the temple, um, get, open the door, Vigar! Uh, there is a light-skinned human. He's got uh, very light, yellowish uh, hair turns the side uh, from one of the pews. Huge scar across his face. He's got one uh, light green eye and one eye that's completely black. Wearing these, like, black robes. Yes. I am Vega. Oh, God. Hi. Uh, yeah, I read your book, and I was just curious, uh, you know, about the light enders and everything. Uh, do you know of any instructions they were given? Or are you perhaps a follower yourself mm. Salem his revenge on Christopher was eminent Salem crossed the nine circles of hell up to Dragontooth to collect his dude energy his army of demons paraded through the halls slaughtering all students in their way the light enders and Christopher fought back against the demons and killed them all, including King Salen. All in all, the school that year lost 81 students due to this slaughtering. 81 students. Why, do you ask? Um, just, uh, just kind of curious. I, I think it might have something to do with the, the game tonight. I was helping B out, uh, you know. And I love B, but you know I didn't want her to bite anybody looking for clues, so I thought I'd help her out. <laughs> uh, so do you? I mean, it says uh, I'll, I'll show him the clue too. I'm like, it says you know decipher these instructions. In religion, it rose. Uh, the the death of 166 stopped on a whim. Ah oh, yes, I know precisely. Would you aid me towards the altar? As you walk around the pew, you see he has no legs. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. I got no legs. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll carry him in whatever his preferred manner is. Uh, um, just puts out his arms for you to pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just pick him up. I, I like to under his arms and uh, carry him to the altar. Um. He waves his hands in front of this pool of holy water. Before Christopher graduated, he told another student in secret that he had found a way to kill Salen 
mere days earlier of his arrival in a book that rose up from his prayers. As he moves his hand, a minor illusion rises from the uh, pool of holy water of this book with a skull with a crown on it. In this book were his instructions to defeating Salem. Oh, ah. Uh, do you mind if I take a look? He just drops his hand and the illusion disappears. I oh. have not seen this book. I hear it is kept close to the school as a defense for the future. Perhaps you might see this book tonight. Oh, so like I'll, I'll take good note of what that book looks like. Um... So those are the instructions to 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 kill Salen. Wow, that's a that's a powerful magic. Or so. Thank you for sharing this. Why did you write this story? What does this mean to you? I was captivated, hearing the stories. I asked around to find the truth about an incident so terrifying and terrible. It would almost take out an entire student body. The school has taken great measures to protect itself since then. <coughs> but it will always be to me the one time the school was put in imminent danger. Like there's no other times in the future like that, right? And <laughs> now that we got the book. <laughs> he looks at you with his black eye. We must always be alert. <coughs> we could get right. assaulted it any time, from any direction, from any dimension. I don't know too much about extra... And then Bognak has a thousand yard stare and thinks about him diving into the mouth of like Cthulhu and all that stuff. He's like, yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> um, <laughs> by, by the way, I'm, I'm Bognak, I don't think we've had the chance to meet before. Appreciate you meeting with me. Uh, do you... And don't I don't mean this to I don't know if this is a holy penance or something like that. Could I maybe find a way to help you get around more easily so you don't have to depend on the kindness of strangers? If you so choose, I would be delighted. But I will not ask you to sacrifice such time and energy to help me. My time is a ticking time clock. One day you will hit zero and my time will be up. For what I have done to be sent here, I have done in the name of my God, and my punishment is worth. You do. I killed the followers of Helm, and now I pray to him every day to give protection to those who need it. All right. Well, I appreciate your uh, your prayers of protection. I think we can all use them right now. And I think you can be a good friend. And maybe we can protect each other. And Bognak reaches out to, to shake his hand. He extends his hand, gain one positive relationship point with Vigar Burndwell. Thank you, Vigar. I I appreciate it and uh, appreciate the new friendship and I'll try and do so. Uh, by the way, if you could say an extra pair of protection. I don't know if you've heard about the people just exploding. I have not. Be careful about that. And, uh, well, just add that to your prayer list, I guess, of general concerns. Uh, I'm, I will pray I'm, for you, Bognak. And uh, I, you... And Bognak uh, will leave and go find B immediately and tell her everything he's learned. And <laughs> tell her, I think it's this book. Don't eat it. Please, God, don't eat it. It's apparently very powerful protection against demons. Don't eat the book. As long as it doesn't smell tasty, I won't eat it. Deal. <laughs> I, am, I imagine it smells like hellfire. <laughs> Is that tasty to you? Mm hmm. Depends on the smokiness of the hellfire, but um, at least this one time I can abstain. 
<laughs> awesome. Well, uh, good luck tonight, B. I think that'll give you a leg up. And, well, I'll be in the crowd cheering for you. And hopefully it's a book. <laughs> he gives a nod of to Bognac and then says, I have one more thing I have to do real fast before the game tonight. And B's going to head out and uh, look for <clears throat> Reve. Okay. Oh. Uh, roll a perception check. Uh-oh, your poor camera. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Erica in the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Camera glitched. Uh, it's a 12. Um, you hear she's been in the advanced new chamber. She's been seen there uh, recently uh, with uh, Culverlac trying to rebuild the bleed, but where she is in this moment exactly, no one seems to know right now. Okay. Um, I'll go check the bleed room, I guess. I don't know if she'll be there or not. I'm but... Right. Uh, the door is locked, and there's, like, caution tape and an X in front of it. It's dragon tooth oh. caution. I have an urge to kick it down, but, um, I think we might just, <laughs> uh, knock on it this time. Maybe see if anybody comes to the door. Uh, no one answers. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, this might be I'll a long. Down. This might be a long shot. Uh, but what I have still remembered her scent. Maybe to track her scent a little bit. Roll an insight check. Oh, that's a seventeen. Yeah. Okay. It's she um, has this that. like, uh, honey smell to her. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll try to follow that as far as I can until can't, I guess, pick up the scent anymore. Alright, roll a perception check. Ooh, that was a nat 20, so a 21. Um, she is in the locker room of the advanced student chambers, and she looks like she is, uh, like, writing in a journal. She's okay, like, um, I don't want to sneak up on her or anything, so I don't know if there's a door to knock on or, like, something that I can knock on before to kind of let her know I'm coming in. Oh, no, it's a it's a pretty big room. It's like a Grand All Central right. Station kind of size. So as you walk in and look down the aisles, you can see her, like, on a bench in the middle of lockers writing. All right, B's just kind of kind of walk up, not get super close to her, but just enough distance for her to be able to, rivet it, be able to hear B, and B's just going to go, Kind of nod at her. Hey, what do you want? Listen, I don't like you. You don't like me. We get this. I really like being alive um, and having a beating heart. So after this Venom Run game gets over, me and you really need to figure out a plan of how we're not going to die. We need to put... Our differences aside, even though I really would love to kill you right now, if I'm being completely honest. Um, we really need to put our differences aside so we both don't end up dead. What makes you think that I would ever trust you? Um, if you don't trust me, you have about two weeks left to live. So I would think that that's a pretty good reason to trust me, because I would also like to continue to live. <laughs> Roller persuasion. <laughs> Fuck. It was an eight. <laughs> she closes her book, puts it in her locker, uh, L16, and uh, locks it, and then looks at you and says, Fuck you, and walks away. <laughs> See you with the Venom ra game, uh, Venom Run game tonight, I guess. <laughs> she walks around the corner and leaves. Uh, B just laughs a little bit and walks out. Okay. Wah, wah. Drama, drama, drama. Okay. Being the drama. Killing by myself. Oh, by the way. Add two negative points with Reve. Damn, I didn't even do anything that time. <laughs> yeah, I'm in this situation. That's. Because of you. Oh, wait, you already had two. Sorry, I thought you had none. Add one, just one. Uh oh. 
<laughs> so you're Abby. I thought you didn't get any from last time, but you did. But yeah, she fucking hates your guts. She most spills your guts. Makes sense. Anybody else? Are we no. skipping forward? Hours pass. Yumi still at eight, how much HP? Ten. You're going to go into Venom Run like that? No, you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> like, but there's, there's nothing to hold her. Yeah, you can take a, a short rest. This is gonna be hours, but well, Venom runs at eight, and it's like around almost lunchtime. So, or a long oh. rest. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to rest the entire time before. All right, Venom gain run. all your yeah. spell slots, all your HP back, and before you know it, crowds are moving in, fill in the stadium. It is time for the Venom Run finals. The crowd cheers in the auditorium. Ooh, 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 ooh. Team Not Bald Guy versus Team Royal Pains. Evening Plume and Culverlike introduce the large trophy. By the way, ignore the people in the audience who are dead. I don't feel like changing them out. Uh, they're, <laughs> they're not there. <laughs> they're not there. Uh, the huge trophy full of a thousand gold is revealed. Uh, the crowd goes wild. The, the field has been made smaller and more accommodating. Um... On one pedestal is B. On one pedestal is Yumi. Really small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh. And then uh, a um, spider in both or all four corners. They're going to, and in the middle of the field, you're going to see three books that are like still hot with embers. It'll be a book with a skull with a crown, a book with just a skull, and a book with a skull with a pirate hat on. So, God before we begin, they are, not to, help. <laughs> they, are, they are going well, we like to... Pictures. They are going to... Would I have... Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Would I have, would I have told B, like, what specifically was on the book? Or no? Like, because I, I didn't get that. I didn't get what was specifically on the book, so I didn't tell Erica. But I feel like I would have told her, like, here's the picture to look for. Did you tell her? You had but I, I, like... Yeah. In yeah. Hour I mean, I get, yeah. Well, I, when I was talking to her about it, like, here's the book that you need to be looking at. I just didn't know which one to tell her. Okay. Like, so. Which one is it? I don't know right now. That's the Scott knows. <laughs> I don't know. But I want a skull on it. Yeah. I only saw the, I saw the illusion of it though. So I, I just like, I don't know what skull does. All right. They're going to give each of you a chance to make a speech. If you would like to do so. A speech. You may all like jester and be like, B, you first? People cheer for B like crazy. Okay, I'm going to lift up, or I guess the skulls of everybody that I have on my belt, the three skulls. I'm going to lift it up in the air and jingle it a little bit. Yeah, people are going to cheer. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna yell. I'm gonna say one thing, and I just yell it really loud. I'm gonna say, "This game is for Reve." <laughs> Everyone kind of looks Come at Reve and cheers, and she's just like, she just gets up and walks out. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even watch it. She said, "I hate you." <laughs> watch the highlights on the bleed. Oh wait. All right. oh, oh wait. wait. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, yeah. So Yumi's just gonna like minor illusion, like their eyes to start glowing like this lavender like color, and just like wink at B and smile and be like, "Put on a fucking show, bitch." Look pretty and B blows a kiss. <laughs> 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 She's learned so well. Let's see what these girls can do. All right. He's not uh, in the audience hyping people up. She's like, yes. Oh, yeah. Do you want to roll uh, to see if you're the cheerleader here? I did roll, and it was a five. I was close. Close. <clears throat> I was close. All right. So um, the girls up. spider in the top left corner is spider one. Spider in the top right corner is spider two. Spider at the bottom left is spider three. Spider Ooh, in the bottom right is spider four. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can fit everything on here. Um, and go ahead and roll initiative as the crowd goes 
Wild. I'm not I haven't played a real Venom Run game in a while. It's different. That's him. I think we've played a real one since the very yeah, first time of me and Taylor. <laughs> well, yeah, it was the murder. That was the last time we saw one. Cool. Uh, all right, B, what did you get? 10. 10 and Yumi. 12. Ooh, lots of low numbers here. Let's put it in descending order. Um, what is your dexterity score, B? Not your modifier. Uh, 12. Alright, you both are dead even. Roll off. Roll a d20. Let me know what you get. I'll like... Another 12. Okay. <laughs> so you will go before that other spider. Alright, so the turn order is... Uh, oh. <laughs> Yumi, uh, spider 1... B, Spider 4, Spider 2, Spider 3. And then I Damn, just we all rolled bad. <laughs> noticed that my countdown... Oh, it is there. Okay, cool. Let me give a... Do not look at the stream, because I'm going to put a timed countdown. Quick, I'm rolling. And away. let the games... <laughs> look over there. It's not showing. What the hell? Okay, well, you're just going to have to trust me then. I don't know why it's not showing. Oh, because it's... All right, there it is. All right, go ahead. You give me first. All right, my turn? Yep. Um, yeah, so... Okay, refresh my memory. So I can, like, do a movement and an action, or just one? You can do an action and a non-action. A combat action and a non-combat action. Yeah, combat action and non-combat action. Okay. So, and this is difficult terrain, correct? Correct, so movement is halved. Okay, so I'm just gonna like walk up my 15 feet since my movement is halved. And since I know like B is at her weakest in the beginning before she can do anything, I'm just gonna pop off a fucking chromatic orb right on her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, roll it. 18 to hit. Hits. Roll damage. Back. Seventeen acid damage. Oh Dang. God. Get him spells okay. on play. We're here to show off, bitch. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next up is the spider who is right. He's going to phase right to you, and he is going to take a swipe at you with a bite. I'm going to cast shield. Okay. And my AC will be raised. He got a 21. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It still hits me, but. <laughs> What's your Ooh, AC? Girl. With shield, it's 17. So it's usually 14. Okay. And B, what's yours? A 14. Just so I can just go ahead and say it. All right. Yeah. It hits. You're going to take five points of piercing damage, and you need to make a constitution saving throw. Constitution? Mm hmm. Okay. 15. All right. You are good. Nothing happens. Uh, it is B's turn. Okay, so I'm immediately uh, going to go into a rage, Anger. and I'm going to use my... So that would be your non-combative action. Right. I use my action to run forward. Sure. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Okay, five, ten, five. It's difficult I... terrain, so it's halved. Oh, you're right. Just kidding. Hold on. <laughs> here <laughs> all right cool um it is the spider right next to you he's going to jump at you and he is going to attack uh that is a hit you'll take five points of piercing damage and you gotta make a constitution saving throw so is it two, two then <clears throat> yes yes yeah. two points 
On save is a 24. You are good. It is the next spider's turn, which is beside Yumi. He is going to flank Yumi over here with attack on advantage. Why not? <laughs> There's like no way I'm going to get to anything. <laughs> I'm to beat your ass first. 17 hits, unless shield lasts longer. It's the whole round. Yeah, it lasts till a whole round. Okay, yeah. so uh, uh, it's still 17, though, so you're still hit. Um, so five points of piercing and uh, constitution saving throw. Twelve. Yep, you're good. It oh, is the awesome. next the spider's, spider's turn. Is going to uh, flank B. Uh, and it is a miss. It is Yumi's turn. Um. Yeah. So the deal with like command like if i cast it at second level i can command two creatures right i believe so. uh it should say at higher levels you can yeah it depends on this this spell at higher I think levels is... oh right yeah you can affect an additional creature for spell slot spell slot above first so yeah so i'm just gonna like look at these two spiders beside me that are fucking attacking me and i'm gonna cast a second level command to hit each one of them point at b and say attack and what's the save um wisdom 13. all right uh the one to your left uh fails you are now commanding the one to your left and i command it to attack b okay cool all right is that it um Time is ticking down. Well, and when I move, I know when I move, they're gonna like get an opportunity attack. But only one of them. Will. I'm gonna fucking move. The one to my left is going to move away from me on my turn. Uh, is that part of the spell? On its turn. Yeah, on its turn, yeah, yeah it'll turn. obey me. Yeah. All right, that will give attack an opportunity. Move, yeah. The other one it is not flanked because the other one's not an ally anymore, and it is a miss. So you are good. Dope. Uh, the one behind you can go. How far? Ignores difficult terrain. Is going to phase to over here, just out of range. It's going to phase in and phase, or like phase out to the ethereal plane and phase in right in front of her. Uh, going to attack, but not there yet. B's turn. Um, would I be able to cast animal friendship on same um, spider that's attacking me uh, that Yumi commanded in order to get it to stop? I think so. What's the spell? Read the spell. Make it yeah, quick. You have to um, raging, though. Spell lets you convince a beast that you mean it no harm. Choose a beast that you can see within range. It must see and hear you. Beast intelligence is four or higher. Spell fails. Uh, otherwise, a beast must succeed on wisdom saving throw. Uh, you just have the opt to drop rage because you can't cast a spell and also be raging. So you have to pick one. Yeah, which one do you want to do? Oh. Um, I'll drop rage and do that. All right. Uh, saving throw, which one? Um, the one that it failed. was coming. It rolled, okay. It rolled a two. Um, <laughs> nice. It it's now very confused. <laughs> <laughs> then right. can I use my non-combative action to run again? Yes. Go here. All right. I be in range to grab that one in front of me, or do I have to be right on top of it? Uh, no, you would me? be in range to grab it. Uh, you are going to be two. Uh, Opportunity attacks at advantage. That's fine, but I want to grab that book that's right in front of me. Uh, both hit. You're going to take 10 points of piercing damage. Uh, you dropped rage, so you take the full 10. And you'll have to make two constitution saving throws. Okay. First one was a 17, and the second one was a 23. All right, you're good on both of them. The yeah. spider is very confused. <laughs> Good. I picked up the just the plain crack skull one in the middle, I guess. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. I will take it off the field because it is in your hands. Ignore where it is over there. <laughs> right. Um, It's the one behind you. 
is going to go up to you and attack. And that is a miss. It is the one that is beside Yumi is going to jump up and try to bite Yumi. Uh, that is a hit. You're going to take five points of piercing. Constitution saving throw. Y'all, that is shit. 19. You are good. Um, um, it is the one down here. Side B is going to go up to attack B. Relentless, y'all. Uh, <laughs> it's a miss. It's Yumi's turn. Um, Yeah, so I just see B grab a book. I'm like assuming we're just grabbing shit at this point, and I'm going to come down here and grab the one with the crown. Okay, that one is now in your possession. Um, that was two things. So now is the spider who's very confused. He's just going to be looking around like, I don't know what to do. And it is B's turn. Okay, is, I'm... Is that, same. A, is that a... Is, sorry, is that a concentration spell, the command? No. Okay. It How only lasts it last? a round. Oh, okay. A round. Um, then, yeah, so I'll it's still say it didn't do anything minutes. for the joke. Okay. okay. Um... Now I'm going to do uh, that same one that's confused. I'm going to cast a uh, beast bond on it. Uh -huh. um, so uh, it needs a, if beast intelligence is four or higher, if it fails. Um, okay, it's not. The, okay, it can understand telepathic messages from me to it. So now I'm going to tell that same one to go attack Yumi. Roll an animal handling. Uh, no, it wouldn't be animal handling. Roll a persuasion. Persuade that spider. 17. Oh, holy Damn, shit. Damn, she did. <laughs> All right, I'm cool. glad, because I rolled animal handling first, and it was a four, so I'm glad that you changed your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, cool. All right. Um, is that it? And for my uh, non-combative action, I'm going to move to here and grab this one. All right, it's going to give a t opportunity attack for the one that's at the bottom left. Uh, but that is a miss. Nice. Um, the one that is behind you, however, is going to phase to the other side of you and try to bite you. And it is a miss. The one up top here that's following Yumi is going to phase back to Yumi. Uh, that is a hit because you're still at 14 right now. So five points of piercing and a constitution saving throw. Twenty-two. All right, you are good. Um, this one right here is gonna keep attacking B. It is a miss. Yumi's turn. Um. Yeah. Fuck. So. What I'm gonna do is I am going to. No, that won't work. This says each humanoid. Fuck me. <laughs> Gotta love spells. <clears throat> Gotta um, love that yeah. word in here. So I'm going to come over here. And then I'm going to cast command on B for her to drop what's in her hand. Uh, is it does it have to have an intelligence score? Is that what you said earlier, or was that something else? The save. And also okay. score. It's a save. It's a wisdom save. All right, wisdom, wisdom save. save. Oh, that was a 15. Yeah. She oh. saved. <laughs> she doesn't drop her stuff. <laughs> I have a plus Not one wisdom two. save for some reason. <laughs> she is good. All right. Uh, it is a spider's turn. Uh, the one that's on B's side, and it's going right to Yumi. It's going to attack... Casting uh, shield. That is a hit with shield. It was a 19. God damn these people. Uh, you're going to take five yeah, points of so piercing. Low, <laughs> I know. It's so low. And concentration uh, check. I mean, not concentration. Constitution saving throw. Uh, I was like, what am I concentrating on? <laughs> <laughs> Give me your shit together. 16. You save. It is B's turn. Um, Question. If I were to, like... 
cause Yumi to like die, quote unquote, in this round when Yumi dropped the book they're holding? Or they oh still yeah, have yeah, it? you'd be able to attain whatever they have if they die. Okay. Time is almost out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my, uh, I'm gonna dash to Yumi. All right. Take all is... my everything. Can uh, I go into a rage for my bonus? No, oh my three. god. Oh, damn, okay. Uh, so this spider is going to fly up to attack Yubi. Um, it is a miss. <laughs> oh. uh, this spider here is going to uh, go up to attack Yumi. That is a miss. And then the th other spider down here, I'll roll for each one of you. Odds are evens, B's even. It's going for B. Um, Actually, I don't think it can go that far. But the same damage. Oh yeah, it can. It can phase over here and attack B, and that's a miss. And it is Yumi's turn. Um. Yeah. So I don't like this, and I'm going to misty step. Ooh. How far? Oh, the whole thirty feet. Oh hell yes. All right. Anything else? No, I'm holding on to my book. I'm like... This spider here is going to attack B with advantage because they're flanked. <laughs> and it is a miss and it's B's turn. Okay, I'm going to go into a rage again. And I am going to... <laughs> oh, just kidding, I'm not. Mm. Time is up! <laughs> the winner of round one... Yumi Zinzarin! Oh, yes. It's still in the king. It's the king one. Got yeah, it. Still in the king, yeah. Um, all right, the books are going to vanish except for that book, which will be placed in the middle. I think the middle is actually not even the middle. It's like it's going to be the middle of two squares. Um, two of the face spiders will disappear, and then one will go to each corner. Um, Duneberry is going to come up and interview both of you. First to Yumi, the, the loudspeaker, so everyone in the auditorium can hear. Yumi, 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 Duneberry with the bleed when it eventually comes back, hopefully next year. Uh, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans out there? Watch your fucking backs, assholes. Love you, though. Uh, it runs over dis with uh, difficult terrain, so it takes him forever to get over there. <laughs> Be our aggressive. Everyone's saying you're the most deadly individual at this school. That was a deadly loss you just took. What do you say to all the people who doubt you now? I am still the most deadly individual in this school, and I would love for them to come and say it to my face that they're doubting me. And a word from our headmaster, and the spotlight goes to the top of the audience, and headmaster is just standing there. I'm going to minor illusion my skin to like look so elegant and glowing as soon as I see her. <laughs> She's going to say, well, Obviously, I want the only good one up there, or the only uh, strong one up there to win. Good luck, be aggressive. She's going to turn Woo! and leave the room. Round two. We'll put the time on the clock. It will be less time. Uh, roll your new initiatives before I start the clock. 12 for me. 11. 12. 11. Let's do the spiders. Ooh, 19 and 20. Well, we know who's going to press this time. Just right. <laughs> All right. Nice. Starting the clock. And go. This first spider is going to phase right in front of the book and look at B like, you fucking better not. The other spider is going to phase in front of the book and look at Yumi like, and you better fucking not. And it is B's turn. Okay. I guess... Spell slot slots, um... Do not go I back. Roll over. They don't... Okay. Nope. Your health goes okay. back to what it was when you started the game. Oh, okay. And time um, is ticking. I'm going to go into a rage again, I guess, and then okay. I'll use some movement to 
Also, yeah. I will say all of your like uh, race or class abilities like that, those are also used up. So keep track of how many rages you're using. Yeah, that was my last one. Okay, rage and moving face to face with the spider. Yumi. Yeah, so uh, this point, I just gotta make sure B doesn't get that fucking book. So I'm just gonna like move forward and I'm going to cast Chill Touch on B Aggressive. Uh, she is small enough, but I guess the spiders. Um, I'm going to say she has half cover from the two large okay. spiders. So is it disadvantage? No, it's just her, her, AC arm, her AC is up by like four, I think, for half cover. Okay. Plus two for half cover, or for quarter cover. 13 plus five, 18. Yeah, it still hits her through the yep. legs of the spider. <sighs> Tilt touches her ass. <clears throat> Seven necrotic damage. Thank. So three. Yep, because she's raging. The first spider in front of B is going to try to bite her and miss, just like on Bran. The other spider <laughs> is going to uh, jump towards Yumi and go for a terrifying bite. But Yumi has been prepared and ducks out of the way, looking at B on the other side. Let's time. Let's be aggressive. Here we go. <laughs> B. Okay, I'm going to the spider. I guess. I am. I have my katana still, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna whip out my katana and uh, I what can is fire. the damage? Fire that morning of Fine. um definitely yeah okay and I'm going to swing at him. All right, roll it. It's a nineteen. That hits for sure. Hey. Got a kebabs for dinner. Ooh, that's fifteen damage. Ouch. Damn. Yeah, that fucking hurts. Yeah, you gash its side. Some of its innards start pouring out these little baby spiders they start like crawling away because they're scared as it screeches out bane b's gonna pick up some of the innards from the spider and throw it out into the audience Friendly okay workers. cool <laughs> yumi sees this onslaught how did they respond well i picked up a new trick to b and i'm gonna hold my hand out and the shadows just start to form around my hand and i cast shadow blade and um, I'm going to then go after the spider in front of me with Shadow Blade. All right. That's a 19 to hit. You got it. And that'll be 14 psychic damage. Ouch. Mentally fucks it up. We don't have time for descriptions. Because now it's the one on B. He's going to try to bite B. Uh, that is a nasty hit. You're going to take five, so two points of piercing and roll a uh, co uh, constitution saving throw. 19. You are good. The other spider is, you know, it, why change what's not broken? Bite at Yumi. It is a miss. It is B's turn. Okay. I'm going to attack the spider again, same way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 17. Yeah. What's your damage? That is 13 damage again. It. I think it was 15 falls dead. Heck yeah. And then I guess can I use my non-combative action to? It's like run over its corpse. Yeah, come come there. Yep, and right to the book. And it is pick up the book. Well you can't pick it up, that'd be three actions, but it is oh, so you're wait, right you're at right. It. Yumi. So I see like B doing this. And I'm just like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna cast Misty Step to right in front of the book and then pick it up. Oh, and picks it up. The book is now in possession 
of Yumi. And it Flaming is... Flaming Sword and Shadow Blade. It is the mm-hmm. spider behind you. The spider is going to turn around and take this huge chomp at Yumi's backside, but miss as Yumi just slides to the side in the sticky spider web, and it misses. It is B's turn. Okay, I'm going to go at Yumi with my katana this time. <laughs> shield. I'm casting shield. Casting shield. Okay. Come on, spell slaps. Round three going to hurt. I know. <laughs> but it, but it, so 17. Thing. 17 with shield. Oh, uh, That's it. Yeah, the hit. Yeah, it hits. Hell Wait, yeah. It's a plus three? It's a plus. Shield is plus five. It, so yeah. it, it makes his AC. It makes his AC 17. It's AC is actually yeah. 12. Oh, his AC is yeah. 12. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Yeah, so it's a All right, roll the damage. Lord. Right. 10 Not damage. Triggered. Ooh. Also, a constant yeah, damage. Triggered. Shadow Blade. More hot metal. Mm-hmm. 10 damage. Too soon, too soon. Yumi's response. Yumi got a roll concentration for that Shadow Blade. Yeah. Oh, Shadow Blade. 21. Yeah, you're good. All right, take your turn. You're good. What do you do? Yeah. So, at this point, I'm going to convert sorcery points for a second level spell slot. And Does then... Does that take a bonus action? Yeah. Okay. Or not a non-combat action? Non-combat action. Yeah, a non-combat action. And then, for my combat action, I'm going to cast Misty Step to the other side of the arena. Show me where you're going. 30. Boom. To where B originally was. Uh, the spider is going to see B and run up to attack B. <laughs> uh, and it misses as B is already looking where she wants to go now and it is B's turn. I'm gonna dash towards Yumi is all of my moves. Yumi, your turn. Okay, I'm just gonna slash at B with my fucking sword. Yeah, alright, go ahead. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. Yeah, what's that damage before we half it? <laughs> it's not half, this one. Oh, it's, it's not? Damage. Oh, it's the one thing she doesn't. It's the one thing she's not immune B, to. That's gonna be max damage, babe, and it's 16 psychic damage. Is she still standing? Yeah, I'm still standing. Damn! Damn. All right, the face <laughs> spider is not having this. I'm going to see both this. of you. Uh, B is even. Yumi is odd. It is an odd number. It's going to... Where's my snapped? Uh, yeah, it can get right here and attack Yumi. Uh, the picture's a little deceiving, but it is five feet. Um, <laughs> that sure is a sure? hit. You're going to take five points of piercing and roll a uh, constitution saving throw. And a concentration pick. Yeah, and a concentration. So the first one was 18. And for my concentration was a 19. Okay, you're both good good on both accounts. B's turn. Um, I'm going to take another stab at Yumi with my sword. That is... 18. 18? Yeah. Yeah, that hit. I roll your damage. That is fifteen damage. Fifteen? How much? Fifteen. <laughs> All right, Yumi. Are you still standing, girl? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Barely. Fucking barely. Um, and just going, and I'll go after you with time my is up. Winner yeah. of round two, Yumi Zinzerin. I had one hit point left. <laughs> Cannons go flying off. You see the teachers huddling <laughs> uh, while they put you back at the pedestals. Um, everyone's huddling. Duneberry's like, it seems the teachers are discussing something new. Please wait momentarily. So Uh-oh. you, you guys see each other. She said, I'm not amused. <laughs> but Joss said, I'm not amused. 
Can can the people <laughs> outside, the people not participating, hear what's going on? Can we? Do we get any intel? Uh, roll a perception at disadvantage because it's so loud with everyone cheering. That's and making so noise. I would sit. I, I was sitting with Inger. Can I hear? She got, <laughs> I got my, she got up and walked away, but you can do a disadvantage perception as well. I got my yes. purple with me. Can they help me? <laughs> I followed. And, I followed and held no. her hand like a lost child. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> you can roll I, it for I, them as well. I'm, I'm just kidding. Okay, I got a uh, perception. Eleven on the dice. Plus... I got two fifteens. Crap the shit. Uh, perception. So twelve. Twelve. What did you get, Bugnet? Fifteen. Uh, Penny, you start to hear whispers of like a a double point round to keep the game going. Uh, but Drama. then, Bognak, you hear evening. Uh. Well, you don't hear Evening Plume, but you hear someone respond to Evening Plume <laughs> uh, saying, well, then we should probably end it where it is if we're preparing for him to arrive. And they announce the winner of the Venom Run Finals is Yumi Zinzer. Everyone cheers. There's no point going to a third round. The winner is Yumi Zinzerin. They give him... Uh, the the trophy they're like it's just for looks we got to take the trophy back but you get the thousand gold pieces he walks up as soon as B. yeah i was about to say as soon as b or like, as soon as yumi gets handed that b walks up and does like this and, <laughs> and yumi hands i told you i would money. do it girl i got you you got and me i got you he hopes it makes the audience think that he like was Roll a you performance know, check. Like paid, <laughs> like paid off to lose to make Yumi win. Oh, that's a sixteen. Eric gets the wildest rolls. In the the crowd starts I cheering. Be aggressive. Who? Huh? Be aggressive. Who? Huh? Be. Oh it starts like banging on her chest like a monkey. <laughs> and. We go into the night of celebrations as everyone wants to buy a drink. Elenia is just giving out drinks left and right. We're around. We're at Gibbles around this time as everyone's celebrating, and you guys are all left Gibbles in the room party. with Elenia as the it's getting almost about ten minutes until everyone's supposed to report back to their dorms. Uh, I'll give you a moment in your celebratory state. Uh, I'm just uh, gonna walk up and hug B. I'm gonna hug B immediately and be like, "Without you today, I, I don't know what I would have done. I really don't." He jumps on Yumi like I don't know, like a koala or something, like arms and legs <laughs> wrapped around Yumi, and B's like, "Good game, good game." <laughs> either way, because I'm 500 gold richer. <laughs> Same, and I'm not hideous. <laughs> B's gonna um, yell at Elenia to give the whole bar around another round or whoever's left in there on B. She's like, why the fuck not? Yeah, woo! <laughs> Pass <laughs> out drinks. <laughs> Elenia, See, I, would, I would like to point out that if there's enough people in there, B's trying to show off. So B takes Jessamine's skull and pours like a drink through the skull and like funnels it through the skull in front of you. You're people. gonna cut something. People are <laughs> cheering even though it's pouring <laughs> yeah, out of the bottom yeah, of the skull. <laughs> fine. I like that shit here. Let's not stay. Uh, skull skull loose. Yeah, people, people are like asking for your autograph and shit. Yeah. I can't write very well, but she just like scribbles on. <laughs> it's literally just like <laughs> A couple people are like, good job for winning, Yumi. Paid off. Look <laughs> <laughs> at those Denverans, you know. Still richer than you, cunt. <laughs> but not wrong. <laughs> it is at this point, unless anyone wants to do anything, that we will skip two weeks. Hey, what about my thing with Russ Quinn? I was supposed to eat with Russ Quinn. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's say he he, uh, you some Elena tells you that Russ is waiting for you in the furnace. Okay, I'll head over there to see him real fast. There's not many people Here, there. There's like maybe a couple people on the far end. You quickly notice that the fire of the furnace is no longer there. It's out. You've 
this whole school year it has been constantly on day and night is out um russ that'll be the first thing russ says when you walk in well the fire seems to be out it's it's weird he's gonna like go over to it with a little stick and do one of those like things that she would have done in the wilderness to try to create a spark to see if it would make a spark whoa uh roll a survival check a 19 <laughs> yeah it sparks a little bit but there's nothing for it to catch fire like there's never been wood or coal or, or anything to hold the fire so you spark it on the ground a little bit a little fire and then just dims just kind of shrugs and is like hmm, weird wow that's Doesn't really care that's amazing i've never actually seen someone make a fire non-magically before you're so full of wonder yeah i mean i kind of lived Side for a long time, so you gotta kind of have to know those things. She well, takes a big bite of a rat kebab. <laughs> he's gonna try his rat kebab. Mmm, it's kind of good, right? Wow, you know, B, I haven't really got to spend a lot of time catching up with you this year. How's how's the year going for you? Um, I don't know. It's fine. <coughs> I'm still alive. Uh, I've killed a lot of people, yeah. so that's pretty fun. And now I'm really rich, so I don't have any complaints. Yeah. I was fucking terrified of you all year. <laughs> and and <laughs> no, now I see good. that... Well, you're not all that bad. Good. I like it when people are terrified of me. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, let's get down to it. Chapter 5. Oh. Teeth of a Dinosaur. No, he's people... gonna he's gonna stop him right there the second he says dinosaur and he's she's like wait this this book is about dinosaurs oh yeah it's a whole story I'm writing about you know people think it's their dinosaurs but it's my dinosaurs and one day I'm gonna take over the whole world with dinosaurs and B just scratches her head for a second and says well I'm from Valcast have, have you ever heard of that before oh, is that the school where they have dinosaurs in the jungle yeah, yeah, it is, actually. I, I kind of ran an underground um, animal fighting ring before I was what? in Dragon Tooth, so I've kind of spent a lot of time with dinosaurs. I could probably tell you about them if you want. Oh my freaking goodness, I would love that! <laughs> Let me go get a quill! <laughs> oh my god. Run off as you look out, uh, waiting for him. You see people are avoiding you couple people are like eh, great job uh, and like leaving <laughs> and uh russ comes back and says b i think this is the beginning of a very productive relationship just kind of nods she's like okay and then like takes one of his i guess pieces of paper whatever he's writing on and then just starts like drawing a velociraptor from like memory because she's seen so many of them gain another positive point with russ quinn and yeah. from there, we're going to skip forward two weeks to graduation. So you each get two rolls, two things you want to accomplish here. God, I'm about to die. You can't do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you killed Evening Clement in your two weeks. Yes. Ma right. Maybe B just roll to live? Right. <laughs> just, just roll to live. <laughs> the DC is 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, use, I mean, use your rolls. Come up with something creative. How do you want to... Get out of this or kill Evening Plume or I won't let you roll to kill Evening Plume. That's just not gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, DC will be way too high. I give the help action. <laughs> <laughs> I give super help. <laughs> <laughs> I killed him with help. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, uh don't rush at it. Who wants to go first? Okay, well I'll go first. Um the first thing I do is um I've spoken to Yumi. And um, so Penny's on. It's like preparing for battle station. She assumed graduation is going to be a whole battlefield. Um, so she's yeah. kind of she's spending this time kind of just like working with and training extra hard with um, Morton Zhao, Leo Nile, and the crew. Okay. Um, so she's just like really drilling into like oh, Venom Run games are over, but she's like oh, we're just practicing for next year. Um, and also she's going to start working on Dragon Dragon's Gauntlet. But she's this is her preparing her homies for the coming war um, and sharing information with Yumi about the bullshit that's been going on with Fatal. Um, and loving all, all of it, honestly. She's like, 
there's some shade in there between Yumi and and uh, Penny. Penny's like, listen, girl, did you not see this coming? You, you really did bite off more than you could chew, and you choked, honey. You choked. I suggest smaller bites next time, but good ambition. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just kind of training and shit talking, like getting ready for what is going to be a terrible time. We've already seen one graduation on one end of it, so we're like, all right, this is going to be much worse. Um, so just kind of like doubling down on training for that. All right. Um, and- roll a. Uh- what did you roll before when we trained? Do you remember? With Morton Sal? I'm just going to make up something. Make it I up think it was a... I thought it was like a persuasion or something charismatic. Yeah, like, it's like, something yeah, charismatic. Yeah, do it. Like, I can't remember it. Yeah, which, <laughs> which, what's what's your it. strongest charismatic skill? All of them. They're all... <laughs> I've, right. I've performed do, uh, all of them. <laughs> do persuasion, then. Do persuasion. <laughs> all 19. Of them. <laughs> okay. Literally all of them. Yes. Wait. All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, Morton Zal and Cleonile will get a plus one to only one of their types of attacks. So if it's a spell, a specific spell, or if it's with a sword, whatever, just pick one thing. And then we can go, we can yeah. go after it after to make sure. Yeah, no, I'll just make it, I'll keep it even really simple. I'll do Cleonile's uh, Rage Tail, which is uh-huh. like her go-to attack, and then Morton Zal's Ice Hands. Perfect. Recently. They both get so a plus just, one. They're personal things. Um, and then second week, I'm going to talk to, I'm recruiting people for Dragon Gauntlet, my new game. Uh-huh. Um, uh, one of the people I really need to talk to, I'm, I'm recruiting the, my two roommates, B, Yumi, Bogmak, and the, uh, Humwalda, people who I need to, like, speak to actually are Isalela, Pushhard, Finnegan, and Thomas, who are the people I'm reaching out to who are, like, not my, my actual friends, but people I know, uh-huh. um, recruit them to play in my to join my extracurricular next year to play in dragon's gauntlet so okay i've taken another persuasion um, roll if you want <laughs> pick pick your uh, uh yeah okay uh, pick your favorite one out of all of those i'll let you roll for that favorite one but those other ones will Let's, hear about uh the game for sure i'll go with is she's my homie we've been building a thing sure roll a persuasion check come on is i'm gonna use literally all these persuasion dice because it was so bad I got all these beloved dice that I can use now, so I'm like, okay, great. Because I rolled really bad. Um, a 13. Gain one positive point with Isalela. <laughs> I literally rolled so many ones on these D4s, I was like, wow, this is trash. <laughs> also, uh, three of the dice. And, uh, yeah, she's she is going to be, I believe she is going to be... She's yeah, she's going to be a senior next year. Next year. Um, she's, and she's all for the game. She's definitely going to do that game next year. All right, who's That's next? Ness goes. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll go. Um, I'm scared. I feel How's like it? this is. Good. I feel like mine is going to actually have to take like role play because I feel like you're not going to let me slide so easy with this. But <laughs> obviously, I have to kill Evening Plume. Um, so I set it make, up. I want to make one final attempt, I guess, with Reve to see if Reve is going to help me out or not because I think I know what to do. But All right, how do you I- want to team up with her? I, 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 at this point, I'm just going to say intimidation check. Okay, but like I'll give you I'm advantage because the school is like fucking. All right, up. if you, yeah. I'm gonna say if you do not help me, I will kill you. I will kill him by myself, and then I will kill you after. Yeah. All right. Intimidation check. With advantage. With advantage. God for that. Nineteen. Fine. <laughs> okay. She will plot with you. Second. And while we're while we're plotting with. Like each other i'm gonna come up with a plan i'm gonna tell her about the um what is it the filter of love that i stole from um artheon's room and come up with a plan to see if maybe we can trick um evening plume into drinking it and then convincing him to kill himself out of love for either me or Reve. i think if he if he does anything to like hurt himself it will end it so you can, but you can try to sneak the I potion. I hurt him. Like, if he were to take it and he was so in love with me, I could probably sneakily kill him. <laughs> um, 
Let me read the filter of love description. I was trying to do some Romeo and Juliet thing. The next time you see a creature within 10 minutes after drinking this filter, you become charmed by that creature for one year. Okay, yeah, charmed. If they do anything to, like, if you convince them of anything to harm themselves, the charm ends. That's how charm works. One year? If, uh, one hour, sorry. (laughs) Yeah, Jesus, let me broke it. If the creature is of a species and gender you are normally attracted to, you regard it as your true love while you are charmed. This potion's rose-hued, effervescent liquid contains one easy-to-mix bubble shape like a heart. How long does it last? One hour. Charm last. One hour. You can, I'll, I'll let you do a stealth check to, uh, try to give it to him. But the problem would be making sure I- Inger is the first person he sees. Maybe you can team up with Bognek. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I think that's a smarter idea. Okay, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's a smarter idea, too. So me and Reve are going to meet up with Bognak to kind of plot. Have them all in the same area at the same time, I guess. Okay, so I won't make you roll because, you know, Bognak's your friend. This is simply you actually persuading Ben and Ben telling if he wants to do this or not. So what's your what's your plot to Ben? To Bognak? I mean, if this goes sour, I mean, you're not going to get burned at all in this process. I'm the only one that's even risking anything by doing this. I, I just feel like... I can help you bring it up to Inger, but I don't want to be a part of it. I want nothing to do with it. I, I to be let's honest, make it, you, let's make it seem like it's not planned. Like you and Inger just happen to be walking somewhere together, and then we just happen to cross paths. I will also say that this turn to stone thing will happen at the end of the day, not at the beginning of the day. So just letting you know. And we will be two weeks, and then we'll be going to breakfast. So we'll start next, you know session at breakfast all right take that in mind i I mean yeah honestly the way i see it this might save his life i don't i don't know it it, it might put them against i don't know i don't like it but i'll i don't want you to die jesus why didn't you tell me five weeks ago why didn't you tell me seven (laughs) weeks ago about this i've been trying to get this one on my side this is a hard egg to crack as i point to reveal (laughs) I live with you. You could have said it while we were I going just to want to let you know if we survive this, I'm writing scathing twinky dinky stories about both of you. Can't what did I do? <laughs> what? You're, You're not negative. Gonna... <laughs> it's, like, it's no, I'm not. I've never done my either. favorite type of stories about me. I love reading about myself, especially <laughs> like that. I mean, you do realize if I don't help you, then I, you're not going to write the story, so you're not giving motivation. I, I, I'm really confused. I'm conflicted. Look, tell me where I can get Inger to help you, and I'll get Inger there. And that's about as far as I'll go with this plan. Alright, so Bees works out. So, Ben, I guess one of the roles is to get Inger there, and you can use your second to try to get Evening Plume to drink the potion, because you're the only ones with roles left besides Yumi. Hey, how do I? I've only rolled once with... Your second one was to convince Bognak to do this plan. But I didn't make you roll for it because it's up to Ben. Yeah. Unless God, Ben it. agrees no. that that was one of his roles, and then you can use your second roll to do the poisoning. But that's between you two. Go for it because I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. Do I need to roll to poison him, I guess? Well, Ben's got to use his second roll to get them together. And then it goes back to you. And then it will go back to you. So I just, I'll, I'll tell, where, where, B, where do you want her? Where do you think this is the best place to happen? Um, Did you have them like, meet last time? I had to meet in a conference room. I don't think that's going to go well again. <laughs> Why don't you bring time. Anger to his classroom? To the dueling room? Yeah. Because he won't have to go anywhere. That'll probably be easier. That's going to be a tough sell. Oh, Will there God. be students in there? Because this could backfire. <laughs> oh, God, no. Please, no students in there. What if... Oh, God. No, the only, what if... <laughs> okay, hear me out. Oh, God. Ugh, I'm going to be sick. Okay, so what 
if you two you challenge each other to a duel to the death. Are you talking to Inger? I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking to B. I I'm oh. still planning it because i got to figure out how to get Inger there. Okay. You two challenge each other and Evening Plume will have to watch over it or whatever. Private you, can door. Tell, you can tell Inger to come there to collect whoever's body. Yes, you're, we'll one, you're literally one step ahead of me, B. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'll tell her, hey, look, B said she wants to kill Reve, and you can you can have the body. We can we you can go collect it, but I'm just gonna go watch it. You know, like I'll, I'll I'll go with you, and then we'll go in the dueling hall, and then we all drink potions of invisibility, so Inger's the only one in the room with them that he can see. Okay, so I will say Inger is gonna be totally okay with that. Yes, that's perfect. Now, are you, so now you're convincing is actually convincing Evening Plume to be in the dueling room to just watch two students go at it outside of class. Otherwise, it's you're going to have all the job. other students there. <laughs> Isn't that his job to watch people duel, though? During class, but that'll Only be full of people. In class, yeah. Outside of class, he doesn't care. So, is that what you want to do? Yes. Uh, that, that's the only way I can think if, if we want to do it's it the in the only way I can think without it backfiring. All right, Bognag. This, if this fail rolls, the whole plan falls apart. You are rolling a persuasion to Evening Plume to stay after class to watch Reve and B fight. And Reve is going to be behind it, behind the plan. So actually, I'll let you roll persuasion because those two are probably behind you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I give him the help action. Yes. So he's got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then that's that's my pitch to him. Just like, look, they're, they just want to duke it out. They, they've got really bad blood. So, thank God for advantage. So, with advantage, that's a nine. with that advantage, that's a nine. Uh, I'm gonna throw those student dice at that baby. I'm just chucking those at this bad boy. <laughs> so, that's your problem. Yeah. That's what I do. Spam that uh, shit. Okay, you so that's two of them. fifteen total. I've got three. One with Taylor, right? Oh yeah, one with Taylor. That's right. Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah. That that checks out. He is down. Uh, B and Reve oh. go. Um, B, how are you going to sneak this in his cup? Sleight of hand. But, like, he's watching you two fight, right? Explain this to me. And... He said explain the, the plan again now that you're here. And I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an Ocean's Eleven situation where you where you have a flashback back. So while I'm convincing him and Hervé is giving me the help action, B is slipping mm -hmm. it in his coffee while, while I'm talking to him. <laughs> while you're talking to him about doing this? Yeah. Okay, so B, roll a yeah, yeah. sleight of hand check. All right, I'm rolling with whatever you give me. Sleight of hand check. 17. All right, you're successful. <laughs> now let me tell you this. You designated it was before the fight, but Inger will arrive, but that means there are three people to look at. There are Reve, there is B, and there is Inger. So this is what I'm going to do. The invisibility ah. portion part. I am going to roll a dice for the three of you, and that will be the person he looks at. Because you I'm specifically said before the fight, so he's got to watch the fight with Inger there. All right. Wouldn't I, Inger would already be there because she knows a fight is happening. Yeah, of so course. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a d6, okay? One and two is Inger. Three and four is B. Five and six is Reve. All right. So what do we three. want that? What do we want the outcome to be? Confused <laughs> at this point. Oh, I can't. So we're hoping for. Oh my god! Oh my god! We're doing the camera right. move too. I, I can't. It's like it's. Where's right. the box of doom at? Uh, uh, all right. So I'll roll <laughs> it in here. You ready? Box of doom. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is nuts. Can't see it. We can't see it. Oh, oh is that a six? We can't see it. That's a six for Inger, right? That's a three. A oh, a for three. Me. <laughs> I thought it was a six, and I was like, oh, that, that, that. And I was like, bah. Professor Evening Plume for the next hour is madly in love with BR Aggressive. With that, we will end our session tonight. We will come back in the hour. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> oh, I can't see. Too. Get evening for him to fight for you now. Like, fight him, to, <laughs> fight him for me. All right, we'll come back for episode 17 on the last day. 
Remember, you're going to have this whole love situation. You're going to have the student council. Uh, you're going to have graduation. It is going to be a mixed bag of emotions kind of day. I want to thank everybody on Twitch, on Facebook, and on YouTube. We're making chaos, baby. Uh, we will see everybody next time. Thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to.